Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. This is now question number eight from the International A Level um, Edexcel Pure Mathematics P4 January 2021 session. Um, this question here is about vectors. It says, with, with respect to a fixed origin O, the lines L1 and L2 are given by these equations. L1 is R equals minus 154 plus lambda 2 minus 15. And line 2 is r equals 2 minus 2 minus 5 plus mu 4 minus 3b, where lambda and mu are scalar parameters and b is a constant. F prove for all values of b except for 7 that the lines L1 and L2 are skew. Okay, now, when you have lines in three dimensions, there are basically, you could say, three choices. Either they are parallel to each other, or they intersect, or they're neither parallel nor do they intersect, which means they are skew. Those are the three different choices. Okay, to illustrate what I mean by skew, um, I've got this little kind of um, animation thing, and you can see here that this is an example of two lines which are in three dimensions so they're not in like two dimensional plane so you can have them being like this which is skew so they're not parallel nor are they intersecting so this is the third option they are called skew lines okay so that's what we see from this little animation here okay they are skew they never intersect neither are they parallel okay so that's an example of what skew means all right, so we've got to prove for all values of b except for 7 that line 1 and line 2 are skew. All right, so now, first thing we can see is that looking at their direction vectors, and the direction vectors are the vectors which are being multiplied by the, um, the scalar parameter, lambda and mu. These are the direction of these vectors. Okay, those two directions are not parallel to each other. Okay, because if two vectors are parallel, so you can you know that if um, vector A is parallel to vector B, then we can say you can express A as some constant times B. Okay, so here we can say uh, the vector 2, minus 1, and 5, okay, is not equal to some constant times 4, minus 3, and B. Okay, because if I try to find, if I, for example, I can say 2 is equal to 4 times k, so k is going to be a half. Minus 1 is equal to minus 3 times k, and k is equal to, my, is equal to a third. They're not the same value, all right? They won't give you the same k, so therefore they're not parallel. So therefore we can say that line 1 and line 2 aren't parallel. They aren't parallel. Okay, so we know that for sure. Okay, neither are they parallel, nor are they, uh, well, first of all, they're not parallel. We can say that. Okay, so they're not parallel because you can't express the directions of them as, a, as multiples of each other, or multiples of the same vector. Now, um, just a little side point. The reason um, why we look at this second vector to check the direction of the vector is because the first part of the vector is the position vector of some point on the line so this is a vector equation of a line so it has two parts to it It has a point on the line and the direction of the line just like um, a, a equation of a straight line has y equals mx plus c where c is a point on the line and m is the gradient of the line here we have the first point here is a point on the line the first vector is a point on the line and the one multiplied by the scalar parameter is the uh, direction of the line. So this takes you to the line from the origin. This is the position vector of a point of the line from the origin to a point on the line. For for example, this one, this would be this this would be the vector minus one five four. I can't draw it accurately because it's three dimensional. And then this would be the direction of the line, okay, which would be two minus one and five. So this vector takes you to the line. And then this vector, vector takes you along the line. So, for example, if lambda is 0, we'll be at the point, which is the position vector of this point. If lambda equals 1, you'll be one of these vectors this way. If lambda equals minus 1, the opposite way. Lambda equals 2, 
tw two of these vectors along. So once you've got to the line using the position vector, this part, the direction vector, takes you along the line wherever lambda takes you, depending on the value of lambda. And same with the line two. So that's why we look at the second part of the vector, um, the second part of the vector equation, the one that's multiplied by the scalar parameter, lambda and mu, to look at the direction. So we can see for sure they're not parallel because I can't express 2 as some constant times 4 and minus 1 as the same constant times minus times minus 3. You can't express them as the same, so they're not parallel for sure. Now we've got to um, look at the other possibility that they intersect. Now, if they intersect when b equals 7, which I assume they will because they say except for b equals 7, we know they're not parallel. So even when b is 7, they're not parallel. Okay, So we know that they're not parallel for b equals 7. So they must intersect for b equals 7 because they said prove for the all values that b doesn't equal 7, their lines are skew. So if they intersect when b is 7, that means they can't intersect at any other point because they will only intersect in one place because they are straight lines. They will only intersect at one time. Okay, it's not like a curve or something like that. They are straight lines. So they'll only intersect one point. And if they intersect when b equals 7, that excludes them from intersecting at any other value of b. So I'm going to prove that they intersect at b equals 7, which means that for all values that b is not 7, they won't intersect. So that's what that's going to show, basically. All right? So, you know, basically, what? how do I show that they intersect for b equals 7? Let's set up an equation because I know when they intersect, they're going to be at the same place. At the sa uh, they're going to be at the same place. There'll 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 be a value of lambda that takes you to a place where a value of mu will take you to the same place for this line. So a value of lambda substituted into here will give you the same coordinates as a la value of mu, one value of mu for this this particular line. So let's see what uh, we can find here. So I know that if I equate these two lines together, I have minus 1, 5, and 4, plus lambda times 2, minus 1, and 5. And I know that there should be a value of lambda for which this is going to give me the same position as 2, minus 2, minus 5. Be very careful when you're writing down these that you don't mess up a sign. It's very common to do that and make, make a whole mess, mess of the whole thing. Plus mu times 4 minus 3, and I'm going to say 7. I'm going to say let b equal 7. I want to prove that they intersect at 7, therefore they won't intersect at any other value for b. Because if they intersect at 7, um, then that when b is 7, that means they won't intersect for any other value. Because you know they will only intersect to one place. So I'm going to let b equal 7 and show that they intersect when b equals 7. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up three equations. I'm going to set up one equation from the i components, one equation from the j components, and one equation from the k components, i, j, k. So I have minus 1 plus 2 lambda is equal to 2 plus 4 mu. So that's one equation. Then I have 5 minus lambda is equal to minus 2 minus 3 mu. That's the second equation, and I'm going to have 4 plus 5 lambda is equal to minus 5 plus 7 mu. That's the third equation. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the first two equations, I'm going to take equation 2 and multiply it by 2, so I have the same coefficient here, um, and then I can solve them simultaneously. I have 10 minus 2 lambda equals minus 4 minus 6 la uh, mu. Now I'm going to use this with equation 1, so I have minus 1 plus 2 lambda, I'll just write it underneath it so I can see better, um, equals 2 plus 4 mu. So I can subtract, or in fact add these two, and it'll eliminate the lambdas. I'll have 10 plus minus 1, which is 10 minus 1, which is 9, equals minus 4 plus 2, which is minus 2, minus 6 plus 4, which is minus 2 mu. So from here I can say, um, 2 mu is equal to minus 11, therefore mu is equal to minus 11 over 2. So let, now we can find what um, lambda is. I could use um, I could use this equation, I guess. I can say lambda is equal to minus 2. Uh, in fact, I'll do it this way. 
I'll have I'll put the lambda on this side, so it'll be lambda is equal to, and I'm going to have five plus two, which is seven, minus three times mu, which is three times minus eleven over two. So I've just rearranged this equation and substitute mu as minus eleven over two into there. So therefore, we have lambda is equal to that will be plus actually. That will be um, lambda on this side, and I'll have two my five plus two and plus three mu. Okay, so I've just rearranged that. So that's going to be give, give me 7 minus 33 over 2. Okay, 7 minus 33 over 2, which gives me, um, that's 14 over 2 minus 33 over 2. So that gives me, let's have a look. 7 minus 33 over 2. That gives you minus 19 over 2. So now I know that uh, mu is minus 11 over 2 and lambda equals minus 19 over 2. Let's check in equation 3. If it satisfies the third equation, then I know that they intersect when b equals 7. So uh, let me check. Let me check the left hand side. I have 4 plus 5 times minus 19 over 2 which is 4 um, this is going to give you 8 over 2 you could say and you got 5 times 19 which is 95 so minus 8 8 over 2 minus 95 over 2 is that right 5 times 10 is 50 plus 45 yeah okay so 8 minus 95 is going to give me negative 87 over 2 and let's check the right hand side of this equation 3 which you're going to have um, 2 plus no sorry the right hand side is minus 5 plus 7 mu minus 5 plus 7 times mu and that's going to be minus 5 plus 7 times minus 11 over 2 see what that gives us that's minus 5, sorry, minus, that's going to be minus 10 over 2, minus 77 over 2, which is minus 87 over 2. So they match, okay? Therefore, they intersect. You can say that the, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, okay, for equation 3, for these two values of mu. So we can see that they do intersect. They intersect for value of b equals 7 therefore they do not intersect okay when they do not intersect when b is not equal to 7 okay so we can say let's take it to the other page we can say so when b doesn't equal 7 they don't intersect. Okay, I'm trying to be neat as I can. I know oh my handwriting isn't that good. Neither are they parallel. Okay, so I just took it to the other page to fit it in, what the little statement at the end. So there's the answer to question number eight from this paper which is the paper of January 2021 of P4 International A Level at Excel. Other questions from this particular paper you can find in the playlist that you'll find over here um, and you'll have a link to another playlist over here which will be for vectors from P4. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and on the top of the page here you'll find um, a link that takes you to another P4 paper you might want to watch. Thank you for watching and I hope you return soon.